Language Cert International ESOL CELT A1 Speaking and Listening for Family Visa and Spouse Visa. Okay, uh, Charanjit, can you hear me now, beautiful? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry, pata nahi kya ho. Phone mein se awaaz chala gaya. Relax, relax, beautiful. No worries. Now I'm gonna take a full test again with you. Okay, just be confident. Try to listen to uh, the instructions. And I was just telling you that try to give short answers. Okay, because it is an eight minutes test, and examiner, uh, examiner would actually not give you a lot of time to think about things. Yeah. Okay. So I would just suggest that you should also keep it that way. Okay. When uh, you could not hear me, I was just telling you this part that look beautiful. In eight minutes, examiner has to take all parts of the test, right? So, okay. So uh, we need to be quick and we need to tell little information, but correct information, right? Let's do it. This is this is language cert preliminary a1 entry level one my name is angelina i am your interlocutor we are speaking and listening test today are you charanjit kaur yes my name is charanjit kaur can you spell your family name for me please my family name is kaur k-a-u-r kaur where do you come from i am from india All right. Um, now, part one. First, I'll ask you some questions about yourself. My first question to you is, when do you wake up in the morning? I wake up seven o'clock. How many languages can you speak? Uh, I speak three languages, Hindi, English and Punjabi. What's your favorite vegetable? My favorite vegetable is green vegetables. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now part two. We are going to role play some situations. I will read some situations for you. I want you to start or answer. First situation. I work in a shop. I start. How can I help you? Can I help you? I work in a shop. I start. I start. How can I help you? Um, yes. Um, I, okay, let, let me change. I work in a fruit and vegetable shop. I start. Um, how can I help you, madam? Uh, please, uh, please give me um, orange. Could you please tell me the quantity? How much uh, or how many? Um, um, one kg. All right, ma'am. Anything else that you would like to buy? Um, no, only orange. All right. How much? Uh, this is for five pounds. Okay. Uh, you, you cash? Yes. Okay. You've got cash and card both. How would you like to pay? I pay cash. Thank you. Cha-ching. Thank you for coming, madam. Thank you. Second situation. I'm a stranger. I am a stranger on the street. You want to know where is the supermarket you start? Excuse me, ma'am. The supermarket? Uh, the supermarket is right in the corner. Can you see that? Can you see that building there? That's the supermarket next to the restaurant oh, excuse me ma'am yes here is a supermarket i just told you can you see that it's right in the corner can you see that building there it's right there 
next to the restaurant. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Where is the restaurant? Uh, well, as we're standing here, it's right there in the corner of the street. At the end of the street, can you see that corner? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. No worries, no thank you, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Okay, one or two more because this is not nice. Okay. We, you and I, we both are classmates and I have not done my homework. I have not done my homework. I start. Uh, uh, hey, Charanjit, could you please help me with my homework? Yeah. Yes, help. Yes. You help me. Um, help You help you. Mm. Our homework. Mm -hmm. uh, which subject? Maths. Okay. Yes. I am help me. No, I am help you. Okay. What time? Mm -hmm. What time? Uh, uh, help you? After school. Okay. So I'm coming after school in your house. Okay. Yes, thank you. You're very kind. See you. Okay, Goodbye. You. See you after school. Okay. Okay, that's all right. Okay, next one. I work in a cafe and I have given you the wrong order. You start. Ma'am, uh, please, my order. See, mm -hmm. when I work in a cafe, I am a waitress. Okay, maybe I'm, 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 some, I'm somebody. You will say, you know, the way we say, but no, we say, excuse me, uh, excuse me. Uh, it's not my order. Uh, I ordered pizza, but this is, uh, this is what? This is fried chicken. No, this is not my order. I'll say, oh, okay, let me have a look. Oh, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I'm just going to go get your order now. Right? Okay. Okay, now, so, uh, once again. Hello, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this order is um, no me. Uh, this is strong order. I uh, order pizza. So, uh, chicken, my chicken. So my order, my order is pizza. Please help me. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the wrong order. I'm just going to go and fix it. Okay, oh. don't worry. Could you please repeat your order once more? I'll just check. Okay. My order is uh, um, cheese pizza, double cheese. Double cheese pizza, large or medium? Medium. Okay, right. Apologies, madam. I'm just going to get your order now in five minutes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Jananji, just be quicker. Okay, a little bit quicker. You you talk more. Okay, I, I should not talk more. You should talk more. Okay? This is the part in which you should try to ask questions and try to do something. Not in other parts, but at least in this part, try. One more I'll do. Okay. 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 I work at a bookshop. I work at a bookshop. Okay. You want to buy a book? I start. I start. Uh, yes. How can I help you? Yeah. Um. I. Um, I, I need English grammar book. Yes, of course, uh, I have it. Uh, which one would you want and for which grade? Okay. 
which grade which grade grammar book do you want fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade tenth grade okay i grade to seven okay right we have it so please help me here it is oh thank you thank you so much Sharon, did you take it without asking me how much does it cost paying how much for it then yes how much this is see charanjit look whenever you go somewhere you buy something yeah you can never take anything from there you have to ask them how much it is or you can because this is a part of conversation whenever you're buying something you have to ask a person how much how much it is how can i pay for it charanjit do you understand me okay well, how can you pay it how can i pay for it i means you yes um matlab book jo shopkeeper main hu aap buy karne aaye ho i am the shopkeeper i said i am a shopkeeper when i will say you are the shopkeeper then you are the shopkeeper you means you you is charanjit i am i am right so you okay. understand this examiner will say because examiner is talking to you so examiner says i am i am your friend i am your friend i want to take i want to invite you to my birthday party i start i i me okay. i start can you come to my birthday party yes Answer i come to your birthday party when i say uh i'm your friend you want to invite me to your birthday party you start then you will say then what will you say please come my birthday party yes do you understand i you yes hmm please come my birthday party tomorrow is my birthday yes okay let's do one more so please come with your please come with your family uh, i am your boss charanji i am your boss i am your boss you are late at work okay you start oh uh, uh, i am sorry sir so uh, today is i am late um uh, today is i am um, feel not better so I uh, please. I'm so sorry. Today's I'm late. Uh, my work is late. So. Ah, oh, that's right. It's okay. Please be careful next time. Okay. I'm your friend. I want to borrow some money from you. What do I want to do? Borrow, borrow some money from you. I. I start. Uh hey, I need some money. Could you help me? Yes. Wo matlab chahte kaise bolenge kitna chahiye aur mujhe puchna hai ki kis cheez ke liye chahiye. So how much how much money? 200 pounds. Okay. So I I will so I get i will give i will give you ask me when will you return when will you return this when okay when will you return my money after two weeks maybe okay no problem okay so um, thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very nice. You're a very kind person. You're my best friend. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Charanjit, yes. little bit understanding or no understanding, please tell me. Yes, I'm understand, but uh, um You can do this little little because this is not much. This is just little English, not much English. Okay. Little. Ma'am, uh, matlab I'm understand uh, full English, but uh, I'm not speaks मतलब मैं But now we don't have time for this that I don't speak. I'm telling you little little English, little little. That's it. That's all we need. How much? 
for this okay i will come okay where's the market go straight take left what's so difficult in this journey that's not difficult at all no ma'am matlab i understand mujhe samajh mein pura aata hai matlab it doesn't matter it doesn't matter beautiful i'm saying you don't have to speak a lot it's just little bit of english just little bit yeah not a lot not a lot of english now this is not an excuse because four days left in exams you can't say that you can't yeah. say this that oh i don't know this or i don't know that you know you can do this just open your mouth okay whatever comes to your mouth whatever even if it's wrong say it please okay. say it you know say something do not be quiet at the test okay. never because i know even if you will speak broken english i know you can do this but you don't try it and you're like oh, i don't know what to say but you know beautiful i'm telling you even if you speak little little broken english still it is perfect for a1 level right because they are not asking you to speak perfect english they just want you to have elementary level understanding elementary level basic yes, understanding that's it they don't want anything okay. yes Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'll show you a picture on the screen. Uh hold on for a second. So I'll start first. In my picture there is a football under the tree. What about your picture? My picture. My picture is uh... Is, uh, cunning. No, in my picture, there is a football under the tree. What is there in your picture under the tree? My picture under uh, tree flowers. All right. In my yeah. picture, the time is four p.m. What's the time in your picture? My picture is time nine o'clock. In my no, picture, my... there is just one person in the picture. How many people are there in your picture? My picture is a two people. In my picture, the weather is very rainy. What's the weather like in your picture? My picture weather is sunny. In my picture, the chair is black. What about your picture? My picture chair is white. In my picture the car is gray. What about your picture? My picture car is red. What about In my your... picture the person is eating banana. Uh what about your picture? My my picture eating person is uh eating ice cream. Right in my picture the bird is sitting on the tree where is the bird in your picture my picture bird is um on the floor yeah that's fine that's okay All right, that's all right. In my picture, there are six windows of the hotel. How many windows are there in your picture? My picture, my picture is window four window. In my picture, there is a building behind the hotel. What's there in your picture behind the hotel? My picture behind the hotel is tree. No. No. <laughs> That's not behind. That's beside. Okay, I want to teach you something. Listen to this. Look, beautiful. If this is you, for example, Charanjit, this is you. Okay. Sorry, I'm not good at drawing. Okay. This is you, Charanjit. I'm trying to make give you longer hair. Okay. So, Charanjit, this is a this is a ball. Okay. This is a Ball, ball for example so if this ball is no i think that will be a difficult example hold on if i say that there is a tree here 
at the back. This tree is behind the hotel. Behind, right? Because behind the hotel there is there is a, a sea, or you can also call it ocean. You can also call it lake. Can you see that? This behind the hotel, behind, behind the hotel, behind. Okay, I will ask you some questions. I have this uh, notebook. Okay, I will ask you where where is it? Where it is? Where? Okay, where it is? Where is the notebook? The notebook is behind your head. It's not behind my head. Beautiful. It is on my head. On. On. Uh -huh. On. 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 Where is the phone? It is on my hand right now. On. On my hand. On. But if I hold it like this, then the phone is in my hands. Okay. Now, uh, oh. where is the water? Where is the water? The water is in the bottle. In the bottle. In the bottle. In mm. means inside the bottle. In. Okay. Okay. Now, this is one thing. Now, this is a pen and it's now behind my, behind, it's, it's behind me. I'm putting it behind me. Sharanji, do you understand me or not? Yes, understand. Your tree is behind you. Tell me in English. Okay. This pen is behind me. You know, it's behind me. It's at the back of. Back. That's behind. Okay. I will ask you something. When you open the window of your room, when you open the window of your room, what do you see in front? What do you see in front when you open the window? In front, what do you see? Window is closed. For example, okay, okay. Now where's the pen? Where is the pen? Pen is your hand. And position, position. It's in front of me. It's in front, in front. In okay, front. when you when you drive, when your husband is driving, where do you sit? You sit in front. Okay, some people sit at the back. That back seat is called behind. That front seat is called front. Okay. Behind is back. Okay. Behind is back. Front is uh, ahead of you, like in front. Like you say, I want to sit on the front seat. Front seat means the first seat. Okay. Now, if this pen is here, then the pen is beside me. It's next to me. Beside it's me. Beside. For example, this is a chair. Okay. And Charanjit, if you sit here with me, I would say this is Charanjit and she is sitting. She is sitting beside me. She's sitting next to me. Beside me. But if that chair was there, then I would say Charanjit is sitting behind me. But if you will sit in front of me, then I'll say, oh, Charanjit is sitting in front of me. Okay. So now, uh, this yeah. pen is, uh, this pen is under my hand. Now, this hand is above my hand or on my, apologies. This pen is on my hand. This pen is under the hand. Okay. For example, if this is a table and I say, where's the pen? And you say the pen is on the table, right? And then I say, where's the pen? You say the pen is under the table. Under. Okay. On the table, under the table. Okay. Yeah. Now, where's the pen? Where's the table? Where's the book? The book is below my face. Where's the book? It is above my head. Above. Above. Above, below. Above, above below. You understand? Below means down. Above means up. For example... For example, beautiful, understand this. Very important thing. Hold on. Do you have a wall in your uh, house, like paintings and pictures of your wedding? Uh, so, for example, if this is the wall, if this is the wall, beautiful, and uh, 
uh, this picture, and you have a clock here. This is a clock. This is the photo. This is the clock. And if I okay. ask you, Charanjit, where is the picture? And you say the picture is below or under, under the clock. The circle is a clock. Okay. For example, this is the clock and this is the photo. Do you understand me, Charanjit? Yes. So where, if I say, Charanjit, where is the photo? You say it is under the clock or it is below the clock right and if i if i if i do this that this is a for example this is the painting and this is your clock in your in your living room and i say uh, where is the where is the there is the photo you see it is above the clock you understand me it's your clock. above the clock okay above okay. the clock Yes. So basic uh, prepositions are in, oh. out, under, on, above, below, next to, behind, in front. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will try one more with you right now. Hold on. So, Charanjit, I have a picture of a post office. You also have a picture of a post office, right? But there are some differences in our pictures. I'll start. In my picture, there are three people. How many people are there in your picture? My picture is are four people. Okay. Uh, in my picture, there is one chair. How many chairs are there in your picture? My picture is uh, two chairs. In my picture, the notice, the notice is under the clock. Where's the notice in your picture? My picture notice is above a clock. In my picture, the date is 17th September. What's the date in your picture? My picture date is 13th October. In my picture, the bag is behind the chair. Where is the bag in your picture? My picture bag is on the floor. Oh, beautiful. If I say, you have to tell the opposite. You know, opposite. If because examiner will ask you, I say in my picture the bag is behind the chair at the back of the chair. But where is the where is the bag in your picture? My it is picture bag front. Yes, front that's right. In front, in front. That's right. If I say in my picture the bag is on the chair, then what will be your answer? Where is the bag in your picture? My picture bag is on the floor. On the floor. That's right. That's right. That's right. In my picture, the desk clerk is standing in front of the desk. Where is she standing in your picture? My picture standing front. She's behind it. She's behind it. She's behind it. Behind the counter. Behind the counter. My picture um, lady is behind the counter. In my picture, the little boy is standing beside the man. Where is the boy standing in your picture? My picture man is front. The boy, this is a boy, this is a little boy. The boy is standing in front of the... This is a boy standing in front. In front of the... Uh, in front of the lady, right? In front yes. of the woman. In my picture, the woman... Uh, woman is wearing a purple shirt. What about your picture? My picture lady wearing white shirt
All right. In my picture, the man looks very happy. What about your picture? My picture, man, is very sad. In my picture, uh, the man has straight hair. What about your picture? My picture, man, is a curly hair. Okay. In my picture, the woman has very long black hair. What about your picture? My picture, lady, is a brown hair. Yellow hair. Short hair. Not yellow, beautiful. You already know. It's called blonde hair. Blonde. You know that, right? Blonde. Most of the people get blonde hair. Uh, when they go to UK, girls also dye their hair blonde. Okay? My picture lady is blonde, short hair. It's not short. It's medium length hair. You know, medium length. My picture lady is medium blonde hair. What about your hair, Charanjit? What kind of hair do you have? Do you have long black brown hair or short black brown hair? Short brown hair. Short brown hair. Okay, all right. That's nice. That's cool. Understanding a little bit or no understanding? No, I understand. Yes, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, good. Now, the next part. Okay. Okay, Jaranjit, in the next part, what we're going to do, beautiful, we are going to... Okay, examiner will tell you a story, okay? And I'll also tell you a little story. Okay. Remember, examiner will tell you the story twice. How many times? Twice. Right. Two times. Two times. But I will tell you a story one time. Why? I want you to listen very carefully. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to tell you a story of Angela. Okay. Sorry, apologies. Now part four, I'm going to read about... Apologies. Now, part four, I'm going to read something. I'm going to tell you about Angela's best friend. I'll read it two times. Listen and take notes on paper. I'll tell then what questions I will ask you, okay? Okay. My name's Angela and my best friend is Paolo. Paolo is 25 years old and he is a waiter at a cafe. We don't meet at the weekend because he always works, but we meet every Monday and we talk a lot. Paolo is very funny, so I'm never bored with him. When the weather isn't cold, we go for a walk in the park or we swim. Now I'll read it again. My name's Angela and my best friend is Paolo. Paolo is 25 years old and he's a waiter at a cafe. We don't meet at the weekend because he always works, but we meet every Monday and we talk a lot. Paolo is very funny, so I'm never bored with him. When the weather isn't cold, we go for a walk in the park or we swim. Now, I will ask you three questions. Could you please tell me, what is Paolo's job? Paolo is a um, cafe. Mm -hmm. Cafe job. When does Angela meet Paolo? Every weekend. She says we don't meet at the weekends. Then when do they meet? Park. Monday, beautiful. Every Monday. Every okay, Monday. where do they go for a walk? Park. Okay, can you talk for 30 seconds about a park near your house? Talk. 30 seconds. Okay. Start. Um, 
park, park near your house, 30 second speech. Um, Ma'am, I'm not understanding. So. Talk about a park, park. Park, okay. Um, nearest uh, my house is a very big park. Oh. I am going. Uh, uh, I am going every day with my mother. Uh, I like. Uh, I like spending my time in the park. Uh, I going or walking. Morning. So I like. Uh, I like flowers and greenery. So I like going park every day. Uh, after dinner, I'll, I'm going to park with my mother and my sister. Uh, I am going to park every day. I listen my favorite song. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, could you tell me at what time do you go to the park? I go to park. Uh, um, in the evening. At what time? Apologies. Could you please tell me in what kind of weather do you like to go to the park? I like going um, summery season. I like going weather. Evening. Pretty weather. In what kind of weather do you go to the park? Weather. Weather. Tell me about the weather. Not season, weather. I like to. Hmm. I like to. Uh, Rainy weather, cold weather, windy weather. In what kind of weather do you like to go to the park? I like going to windy weather. Who do you like to go to the park with? Uh, I like go to park with my mother. Okay, you have passed. Your score is 66. Okay. That's a pass. Okay. Thank you. But I hope you understand things now. Beautiful. Okay. And you can do this challenge. There's nothing to be nervous about. Anyone can speak. I mean, you can easily tell all these little, little things. It's not a difficult test. It's a very easy test. Yeah. Be confident. But, uh, I mean, I don't know why. English, I mean, English, I mean, English. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm nervous in exam time. I don't know. Nothing, nothing to be nervous about. You've got this. You are very, very good, Charanjit. You're so good. You have so much understanding of English. You have no idea people who do not understand even they pass this test. I mean, you are so good already. Okay. You don't have to worry. Please be confident. This is like this. You can do it like this. I know your ability. I'm telling you as an examiner that this test is very easy for you. A person who has understanding of English, this test is nothing, nothing at all. Just open your mouth. It's important for you to talk and open your mouth if you want to pass. Yes. Anyways, uh, I would want to end the class now. 